Please remember to subscribe, click the bell, and enable all notifications. A colossal shout out and thank you to all my awesome members. To join them in becoming a member and support the channel, check out the links in the description down below. Hey guys, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Zombie Days. We are going to be facing our very first horde in this mod, which it's about time. <laughs> Unfortunately, we've had so many problems with like maps getting deleted, corrupted, and stuff. Finally, 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 after so long, our very first horde. I have no idea what to expect. Let's just make sure we choose the right map. Uh, it's still Nomad difficulty, Nightmare speed, which might be dumb, and 24 Blood Moon spawn. It is, I think, 15 minutes until the horde, so let's hope there's not too many bosses. Uh, I mean, a boss or two is not really going to be that bad, but we are not ready for a ton of bosses. Guys, I still need to make a weapons workbench, and I have no idea how. So, um... Oh, another thing, if you guys have commented before, I do apologize if not responding, guys. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't give me notifications when you guys comment. Like, I have to go into a review tab or actually go through all the comments manually and then say, oh, wow, there's comments here that I didn't even get notified of. So, yeah, it's a pain, especially on older videos. But it does actually happen with newer videos as well. And it doesn't even notify you when something's held for review and why it's being held. Because sometimes, I know I have a certain words that are blocked but sometimes the comment doesn't even have those words in but it still blocks the comment so if you guys feel like i haven't commented on or responded to one of your comments that might be the reason why now we do have a mini bike over here as you guys can see i actually went and upgraded the rest of this um i didn't have enough resources i think to complete this i'm trying to see i want to see if this is going to work or not okay, it's almost time for the horde so let's just jump in Ooh, don't fall in john but yeah, um, did I have more resources? I can't remember. I think I ran out. Ooh, what I forgot to do is grab concrete mix. Damn, that's bad. Okay, so I wonder if I shouldn't just full on place a full block then. If something were to happen, I'd just place this whole block in the doorway over here. Damn, that's bad. I didn't even realize that I don't have resources. But I think I ran out of resources. That's why I stopped there. What's that? Oh, that's the gyrocopter zombie, right? Apparently, he explodes and stuff, so you have to be careful of him. He's outside like a vulture. Oh, please don't clip through my blocks. If he actually gets through, we're going to be screwed. It seems like he is doing quite a bit of damage out there. Come on, guys. Come on. Ooh, you actually got over. Damn. I'm trying to see if there's like any special bosses or something. And I'm trying to see if I can't get the gyrocopter to come down over here. His V breaks through the roof and I can't kill him. This is going to be like the succubi from the uh, Darkest Falls, isn't it? Okay, it seems to slow him down very nice. Ooh, turret, you boss, you. Yeah, I should probably see if I can't level up as well a bit. Um, I should have some skill points left to spend over here. Ooh, okay, I have a ton of skill points. Uh, automatic weapons. Machine gunner. Let's just do that. We're gonna max it out quickly. Um, I think machine gunner is this gun, right? The SMG. I, I think it counts. We need to make sure that we max out all our skills over here, basically. Okay, this defense is actually working a little better than I thought it would. But this thing up there is bothering me. Uh, do we have any explosions? Or explosives? I don't think so. It bothers me that he's above my head right now. Okay, anyways, uh, let's see what other skills we can quickly get. If we can get some healing skills, that would be awesome. Physician, maxed out. Uh, robotics. That's ro yeah, that's going to do max damage now as well. Guys, we have so many skill points. It's actually awesome. Okay, uh, no, not that one. Pain tolerance, yes. Healing factor, yes. Your iron gut, yes. I wonder if you max all this out, whether you'll finally be able to get the rest of the stuff. Like in the other tabs. I think that's how it works. Ooh, this thing is actually really powerful if you do face shots. I mean, it does make sense uh, hit a zombie in the head, but still, sometimes this uh, this gun didn't have this much punch uh, earlier, did it? I want him to come to the side, but I don't want him breaking through the door too easily. What are you? It almost looked like he had a bomb on his back. If I can just get an explosive to... Oh, <laughs> that was awesome. If I can just get an explosive that I can throw up at this guy. Like a, a grenade of some kind. 
Because someone said that this guy explodes, the guy above us. I mean, that noise is really annoying. Um, I wonder, I wonder... Can I do this? I want to stand there and try to hit him from that side. See, he's going to break through the roof before I can do anything. But I don't know how tough he is. Is he a boss? Um, I know. I don't know if he explodes or if he shoots rockets at you. It's one of the two. I can't remember what the guy said. They commented that what this guy does. Okay, uh, let's do the M. Let's do the AK. Did I kill him? I have no idea. I hope so. It seems I dealt with him. Nice. One or two shots, but it did seem to... Exp I don't know if I killed him or if he exploded. I think he exploded. So this defense is actually working way better than I thought. I thought they'd come from that side and vomit at me. Although, if that gyrocopter came from straight ahead, I think I might have had a big problem, man. I'm trying to break this gun because I think that's what we need. Yeah. Big. Oh, did it break all the way? No. Guns break like that. I thought you're going to be able to repair them when they get slow. I needed that degraded, uh, de degraded gun to repair. I'm going to have to make a new Leon's SMG. You make sure there's no other flying zombies and stuff up here. Okay, it seems there's a ton of zombies at the back that have lost their way. I am over here, dudes. I should even be able to run over over here and stand by these guys are standing. I could easily stand here and the turret would actually protect me. It seems only some zombies are fast enough to actually make it over. I do have more skill points to spend, but let's just quickly see how many zombies I can kill. It seems some of them are too short to get hit by the turret though. Some, not all, but still enough. I need to stop wasting ammo. It's way too easy to miss a shot. I'm gonna go loot the corpses when I'm done. So I'm trying to see if I can kill them fast enough. But it does seem like they are continuously spawning over here. So we need to be careful. I should easily be able to jump down there. But I don't want to take any dumb chances. As they jump up, I get them. That's how easy... Oh, they took those doors out like crazy. I'm actually surprised at how big a damage they did. Oh, there's still windows. I was like, damn, they took out the whole walkway. I forgot that there's glass encasing the doors. This gun packs a massive punch. I need to be careful because if this one breaks as well... Although this would be a nice way to test. Does it break all the way or is it just a special gun? Is that is some great ABS. Oh, there's definitely more zombies coming through all of a sudden. Ooh, the spider I need to get because you should be able to jump up here where I am. Vulture, vulture, vulture. Boom, bye, bye. This defense actually works way too well because the zombies are so fast. By the time they get to this corner over here, they fall off. But I'm actually glad the defense works this well, at least. Okay. Uh, this one is done. It's a shame we don't have that SMG anymore. At least if it pops into your inventory when it's broken or something. But damn, completely disappearing. Oh, I think he just died from that. You know, I should actually be able to use the AK. Okay, I wonder if I shouldn't try it. I really want to jump there and then try and see if I can't stand here. Look at that just now. The turret definitely protected over here. No, 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 no. Don't do damage. It seems the turret only sometimes hits the zombies. It depends on the zombie and how they're standing. I wonder if I shouldn't lower it, make those blocks half blocks. So they're more likely to get hit. I think at the moment those uh, blocks are just a little bit too high. So any zombie standing there um, is half a threat. If it wasn't a half block, then it'd be lower, uh, no, low enough to hit the zombies in the chest. Oh no, another one. 
If I could just get him from the front of here. That's definitely another uh, one of those gyrocopter zombies. At least I do still have my full AK, but still. Come on, come down ya. Dude, in the front. I really wish that the vultures and the uh, demons, like for example, Darkest Fools and Sakibai, I wish that they'd pass to this window here where the zombies are. But they're constantly trying to break through the roof, even though sometimes the roof is definitely not the best place for them to try and get through. Oh, that's bad. It seems that one only explodes because I've been shooting it and nothing's really happening to it. Oh, I wonder if I have other skills. I should have other skills that I can actually buy. Let me just use the stronger gun as well. Okay, um, yeah, that guy's all of a sudden flying away because I'm not hearing him as much. Okay, let's just see. The skills that I've already bought some of, I'm going to max out. Just to make sure that we have all those skills already. Electrocution, that's for the stun baton. Charismatic nature, we don't really need this. This is when you're playing with allies. But I'm guessing you have to max everything out. He's sliding on uh, down the wall. It's like he's hanging against the wall or something. He's right there. I don't want to get too close. I'm definitely going to have to put like turrets and stuff up there for zombies like that. And then I can flip the switch and I hear them on top. The turret should do the trick because the zombies are focused on me, uh, not the turrets. Come on. Why am I missing so many shots though? <laughs> as soon as I stand there, bye bye. But I'm actually thinking of putting a second turret over here and getting them knocked down even further, even faster. Because this so far is actually working way better than I thought. Damn, I should have read that sooner. I think I've already did the... Uh, I've done so many of these 10... Kill 10 zombies thing. Uh, these are... I have to kill 42 more zombies. If I can do that, that'll be awesome. I think he's gonna explode as soon as I get too close. Damn, I don't know how to kill him. I don't know if I should hit the zombie on top or if I should just let him explode. I think he is a kamikaze. If I can kill all the zombies out there, I might be able to focus on this guy on top. I just hope that loot doesn't despawn. Come on, one more time. I'm actually loving the fact that the zombies in this mod are actually farthing up that normally. In Darkest Fools, this would have been destroyed a long time ago. I'm trying to hit the guy on top. What the hell is going I'm gonna have to fight him um, in the morning. I can't afford to go out there and then get hit by him. Especially if he is an explosive type guy. Although at this rate, he's gonna break through. Oh no! Is he gonna. What the hell was that? <laughs> How did that just work? You exploded in my face but didn't do any damage. I wonder if it's the angle I was standing at. I'm not going to complain. I'm not dead. Okay, I think all the zombies are gone. So let's just quickly place a frame or two down there. Like so. If there are more zombies, I want to be able to book it. So I'm just going to grab... I'm not even really looking at what I'm getting. I'm just making sure we're quickly, quickly looting over here. Parts and a mod. Food. Food. Come on, I need better guns. Well, I need the weapons workbench first, but I need guns. Food. Yeah, a ton of cash. Nice, not bad. Oh, all the loot's actually over here. Ammo, resources, ammo. Come on, I need better stuff. I wonder if I'll... Ooh, a proper shovel. I wonder if I'll be fast enough if I were to drive around on my mini bike. Can I outrun the zombies, the monsters? Uh, because if I can do that, I might be able to drive around during the nighttime and explore a bit. 
since we have this motorcycle now, I want to go and see where's another trader, how big is this town, stuff like that. But at nightmare speed on a minibike, um, yeah, we might be a little bit too slow. Let me just quickly get in here. I want to make sure we're at least safe. Now, let's see. We still have 11 skill points to spend. Uh, Pummel Pete, no, that's mostly melee. Although we do have this knife, but the knife is maxed out, deep cuts. Pummel Pete, Skull Crusher, Boomstick, this is Shotgun. We don't have a shotgun yet, but it might come in handy later. Okay, and then this one. Demolition Expert. I need this one, actually. Demolition Expert. Come on. Uh, this is Infiltrator. This is what again? I didn't sense to take less damage from traps. Okay, we don't need that one yet. Penetrator mod? Yes. Oh, I should have gotten this one a while ago. This allows you to shoot right through zombies. Or penetrate armor better. But basically, I've noticed sometimes uh, the penetrators also work for if you shoot a zombie in the head and there's a zombie behind it, you hit that zombie as well. But guys, other for the fact that the gyrocopter zombies on top were such, uh, so formidable, this really worked out. I just need to put turrets or blade traps or something up top, and then as soon as I hear them, just flick a switch, and that should kill them for me. Okay, now we need to get back to the base. But I think I did have a few of those quests where you have to kill 10 zombies. But I completed all of those. Yep. Now I just have to kill about how many more? 22 more. Well, the other one, the one I read last, I'm going to have to kill way more than that. But only 22 zombies. Not bad. I just want to go over here and make a wall so the zombies back there can't see me. Because in the next door, there might actually be a cop standing there and vomiting at me. Or even one of the bosses, guys. If the flame boss or something vomits at me, I need to be able to protect myself better. I want to be able to get to the roof as well, but I want to put turrets there, just in case those uh, gyrocopter zombies come again. Okay, we should be safe. We're just quickly going to go to the base and drop our stuff then. Just going to park fast quickly. We need to be careful, guys. Remember, it is nightmare speed. Oh, my bike's still here. <laughs> um, since it is nightmare speed, we have to be careful. Uh, or rather, since it's still blood moon. Since we are nightmare speed and blood moon, the zombies out here, even though they're not part of the horde, are nightmare speed. I wonder, while we're waiting, should I just quickly go, uh, go and scrap all of this? We have so many of these knives and stuff as well. So, stuff we want to sell. Sellables over here. The shovel we're definitely keeping, because now that's better than the other one I had. Weapons, drop this one. Ammo. We're just going to see how much we can actually drop over here. I don't want to drop... Ooh, yeah, I have everything on me. So, there's nothing to drop. Arrows. Okay, yeah, we're going to take some arrows with us. That's the Everdeen arrows. On busy rounds, why not? Explosive crossbow bolts. We don't even have a crossbow. Flaming arrows, flaming arrow, crossbow bolts. We don't have a crossbow. HP 10 mil ammo. I should really drop the 10 mil ammo for now. We'll always we can always use them later. For now, I'm just interested in the 0.44. Since we have the magnums of here. Um, since it's still Horde Knight, I'm gonna take this with me because the zombies are still gonna be strong and I had a grenade, although it's not really that much of a damage to the zombies. But I could have used that on the other zombie just now. Damn. Okay, steel arrows. Iron arrows. We have so many arrows, though. It's actually nice knowing we have this many arrows. We don't have to worry. Okay, weapons. That is my Brian's axe. That's my tool. I need to make sure you see. We had this shovel. So that's a really, really crappy shovel. Okay, now, where's the tools? This is mods and weapons. Weapon parts, rather. Uh, That's tool parts, actually. Medical parts. At least the zombie shouldn't be uh, that fast anymore because it's now morning. But we still have to be careful though. Don't feed the bears. We have to kill bears for that one. Food. I want to make sure we at least have one of each thing in these boxes. So when I do this, it clears out my whole inventory for me. I'm really not a fan of shift clicking stuff. In, although shift clicking is still fast. It's just not as fast as I'd want it to be. Jason's machete. How strong is this thing? 3257. 3257. Stamina cost 6. Stamina cost 10. So say this one was times 2, right? Times 2 the stamina. Um, that means the damage at least needs to be times 2. 12 and 36. This one's definitely. So I wonder if I shouldn't use the machete. It's not as great as... Well, then again, this Dundee knife isn't really that great. But this one can only hold how many mods? I've noticed, though, that the mods depend 
on the weapon. Sometimes a crappy quality thing can hold more. It all depends on the weapon. Okay, so we're going to use that one for now. We're going to put this one away. Ammo. Boom. Mods. Oh, yeah. I need to start putting mods on my guns. Uh, oh, I could have used my pistol. Why didn't I? I had this great pistol, but I didn't use it at all. I think for now I'm going to put the mods in there. Because then I know where the mods are. Then I'll be able to use it later again. And parts. Ammo. Boom. And miscellaneous goes over here. Is that a big ass snake outside? I just heard a shh sound outside. Vehicle parts. Where is... My building supplies. I don't think I have a box yet for building supplies. I'm just going to dump this here then. Miscellaneous. Boom, boom. Night vision I'm going to put in there for now. I mean, why not? And we don't really have... Yeah, we guys, we need storage like crazy. I mean, I need stuff now for my engines and stuff. I also realized we had some springs. So from now on, if we see springs at the trader or anywhere, we just need to go for them insanely fast. Tools, there you go. Uh, I wonder if I shouldn't keep the shovel on me in case we come across resources. And we'll keep this one on us. Fallibles, we'll put this away then. And miscellaneous. I want to make sure that we only have the essentials on us. For example, at the moment, this is not essential. Building supplies. That is technically ammo, so I'm going to put that there. And we should keep this. Okay, I think we have everything on us that we really need on us, except this. Oh, wait. Okay, so I'm going to put that one there, because we don't really use that one. We're going to put this one here. Do I have a pick? I don't think so. I put, it, I put this away. Oh, I do have a pick. It's a little bit more damage. 11.22. Uh, block damage, 35. Block damage, 32. So... If we get more mods, this will definitely be more worth it. But for now, the iron pick's definitely going to be better. So what I want to do is do this. Okay, we should be ready for this. No, no, no. I never do the drunken one. I don't know why. I just can't do that one uh, for some reason. Okay, I need to do these quests as well, guys. But I think I should do those off camera. I need to get rid of all of this and all of this. These Dundee knives, basically, you just have to make bow knives. I think. I can't remember. This one you need to do... Yeah, 10 bow knives per, but you get a ton of resources and stuff as well. So it's definitely worth it. We have so many Dundee knives over here. But the nice thing is we do have a ton of bones. So technically I could do it, but for now, let's just first go out to have some fun. And, okay, uh, magnums. Make sure we have the best of the best over here, because these were now used during the horde. So if we were to go modify, and modify, we take those ammos out... I should actually go and scrap all of these as well for the parts. And then I wonder if I shouldn't go to the trader as well. I can sell all that stuff. So we're first going to sort this. That is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 that we have to lock. I'm kind of curious to see what's outside. And then these notes, I'm just going to drop here for now. Armors, we'll sell those. Drop the notes. Yeah. Okay, let's go. I do need to kill as many zombies as possible, so the more we come across, the better. I just want to see if they've managed to get up here or not. Because like I said, it's actually really easy for zombies to make it up here. Oh, okay, that's not a snake. That is definitely not a snake. I should actually make my own base. I don't know if this one's going to be worth it or not. Ah, come on, that was really bad shooting. But guys, I wonder, should I use that place as a base and just make sure that the top floor is blocked off? Because it didn't really seem like during the Horde night, the zombies went for the building. They more went for the doors and stuff. I wonder if I can shoot through. No, cannot. It was worth a try. Okay, now let's test this one out. It's definitely powerful. Okay, so for now, I'm going to put the tools over here. Nope, like this way around. And then we're going to do this way around. I'm, I want to use the machete first of all. And then go from there. The trader should be open almost. So let's just start going through the trader first. But now that we have the bike, we should be able to drive around and just explore a bit more. Oh, hello. Yes, 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 yes. And we do have this gun. So all I have to do is shoot down the line. It's a shame I didn't read more of those notes. But at least I'll be able to finish the veteran classes. Oh crap, something's attacking me. There's a boss in there somewhere. 
How does he see where he is? I can't. Oh, he's that one. That's the burning man zombie. We need to be careful that he doesn't hit us. I also probably should go and kill him because I need to loot these corpses. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Get in the way, get in the way. Probably not zoom in like this because zooming in like this also makes you slower. It actually interferes with your um, aiming and stamina. I thought I was making that noise. It's a really creepy noise one of these are making. Come on, loot box. The loot box on some of these is so weird. It makes it really hard to loot the zombies, the corpses. Oh yeah, these zombies really don't have the best of noises. It sounds like spiders being killed off or something. Okay, there's definitely still a fat guy or something because I could hear him burp just now. Can't loot him or her. I know the new zombies you can't loot, but some of the old ones, the hitboxes on them are so weird that I can't loot them for some reason. But now I should be able to go hand in the other zombie quest. I just hope I've killed uh, 100 zombies now as well. No. No, 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 no. Can I see you? I don't know if that's my bike that just got damaged. No, it's not. Run, 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 run. I'm not sure how much XP has left or HP has left. But you need to be careful because this guy apparently explodes when he hits you. He's a true chemical. What the hell? Was that him just now? He's shooting stuff at me. Okay, I need to be careful then. It almost looks like blades that he's hitting at, uh, towards me. Or throwing towards me. Yeah, he definitely has a gun. I heard the click click. Oh, nice. Bye bye. Okay, so the third of these gyrocopter guys. I was able to loot the other guy. Why can't I loot this one? Ah, oh, there you go. Oh, are you kidding me? I just wasted so much ammo and I couldn't even loot the damn guy. Okay, so yeah, this proves that the gyrocopter guys are nothing to scoff at, guys. He blocks with the gyrocopter as, you, as he leans towards you. And it looked like he was shooting at me. Because I even heard the click-click sound. So he kamikazes and he shoots you. I mean, we just got three in this episode, so we did get this guy before, but I just never saw him. Remember when we had the vultures over here? The vultures attacking us with that, um, I think it was called, oh, hello. I think it was called a phoenix, um, bird. But basically, we heard that buzzing sound, and before, uh, when I came out, he was gone already. So I just thought it was the vulture making that sound, but it was never the vulture. That means... We should have gotten the other classes as well. Okay, now the problem is, do we have space? I wonder if I can... No, I can't sell this to the guy while I'm talking to him, right? I need to make space first. I need to drop this on something and then accept. Because as soon as we accept this, we're going to get a ton of notes. So let's just drop all this stuff first. Or as much as possible. Oh, that's all container. I drop all that stuff. Thank you. And now we're just going to first accept this. This is 10,000 XP per one of these I say select, right? Five. Yeah, that was the veteran classes. Five of them, 10,000 XP. No, 50,000 altogether. And then this one, I think I accepted 50 of these classes. It's basically the normal 10, uh, kill 10 zombies. I think from now on, guys, we're not going to do the 10 zombie thing anymore. Um, I need to make sure we make a ton of these veteran challenges because that's way more XP as well. It just takes way longer to make. That's the only problem. 40, uh, look at this. 40 crates plus over here, 51. That is a ton. Okay, but anyways, we're going to sell a ton of stuff to the trader quickly. Just see if he can't sort. We need to sell from the best going down. Although he might not buy anything from us because we already sold all the stuff to him. 
Boom, boom, and pots, gun pots. Nice. Okay, can I sell a few of it? Yes. So 15,000 more or less. Um, guys, we need to actually start saving coin as well. Because we need to get that challenge of where you get 40,000 coin. That's going to help us tremendously. Okay, so what we need to look for... I need to make that other SMG thing again, but it sucks because... Uh, okay, uh, let's see, let's see. Let's just first go for this one. Is there a second row? Yes, there is. We don't need any of this stuff as far as I can see. Um, I did see the wrench of here, the ratchet. But I don't know if it's going to be worth it. I mean, it's level 2. It, it might be worth it with damage-wise, but I'm not going to take that chance right now. Turrets, we definitely need turrets for the Horde Knights, especially since we saw all those gyrocopters now. Vertibird chassis, what is this? Is this, uh, is this kind of like a, a airplane or something? Okay, let's see, anything else? Books, miscellaneous, clothing, no thank you. Building supplies, yeah, let's just get all of that, why not? That way we don't have to worry about, uh, about getting anything, we just buy it like this. Do this, do this, I should actually just buy all these... Because these uh, foods over here, guys, do also uh, count as part of the missions. Or some of the missions. Let's see. Chassis we don't need. That we might need. Although, I mean, as soon as we hear the sound, we know there's something on the roof. So we don't really need a speaker. The speaker you can actually make as a perimeter thing. So you can make a line uh, go, and as soon as the zombies hit the line, it makes a noise. So you know there's zombies in the area. But also, once again, you can actually hear the zombies. Okay, so someone said we should buy springs and scrap polymers. I don't know about... Ne uh, I don't think nails are that important, but I'll buy them anyways. Uh, crossbow parts, we'll buy those. And... Yeah, let's just get these as well. I have no idea how rare or scarce they are at the moment. I'm not going to take any chances and later find out... Oh, damn, I should have bought them. You come back sometime. Did I grab everything now? Yeah. Oh, uh, one of the quests that I should definitely try and do again is the Bundy quest. Um, the one for the axe. That a, yep, that's a spider. The one for the axe, guys, we need to do that one. Reason being, um, I need something that can break these crates open in one shot. At the moment, I have to power attack still to break it open. So if I can get like a blue quality axe from the Bundy quest, that would be perfect. Especially with all these crates, you can just line the crates and then pa, 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 just crash, uh, hit them. Let's see, are you a zombie? I think you two are from earlier, right? They're too out of place to be random zombies. Ooh, I've got a better range. Oh, not a better range. Another range. I was actually struggling to get ranges and then... Boom, there you go. But guys, now that we have a mini bike, it's going to open up so many avenues for us. We'll finally be able to drive around and not worry about stamina as soon as we jump off the bike. Because that was a big one. Okay, now the problem is I've never opened any chests around here. Um, I'm going to need more. I'm going to need way, way, way more. So do we have more wood? Yes. We're first going to make ourselves some storages. And then I'm going to have to sort this out like crazy. Wait, don't we have some more storages over here? I could have sworn I didn't place all of them. Anyways, okay. So we're going to make five of those. No, no. Just five for now. Oh, I'm pressing W for some reason. There you go. And I want to go and make ourselves a ton of these ones over here. So sellables, we're going to drop all the helmets and stuff for now. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, foods, let's see how much I can actually drop with the food and the water. Not really that much. Once again, it all comes down to, have you? do you have that in there already? Bar mink goes over here. This one can go over there. And then resources over here. I just need as many of these notes as possible. Because I want to see if I can't make myself a ton of those veteran ones. If I'm not mistaken, you just need this and a normal paper. So we're going to grab that and just make a ton. See, we have some veteran cards over here as well. So with this veteran card, you can actually do other quests. Ooh. Yeah, I forgot about that. With the green cards, you can also do quests like the Bundy stuff. I, I want to actually get the Bundy one. Where's the Bundy? Uh, Killer Bow, Flaming Crawl, Bun oh, Bunions. I wonder if I keep saying Bundy. It's the Bunion one. So I'm going to get five of this one to make sure we actually get the right one or right quality. And then with these, if you go like this, uh, just left click, you can go and you can make yourselves a ton of quests. Or you can do the 100 kill challenge. But you can also with this one, 
do left click or uh, recipes. These are veteran quests. So they're way more. We haven't done this one yet. Gyrocopter. If we can get a gyrocopter. Yeah, this is definitely. If we can get this stuff, guys. Flaming dig tools. Uh, Danger auger veteran quest. I'm, I need to make one of these at least so I can read them. And then we need to do the 1000 kill quest. So for now, I think we're going to keep the blue ones just for the normal quests. And then the 1000 zombie kill quest. I wonder how much XP you get for that. Because that's going to take forever. Okay, so while we're here, we're just quickly going to make it here to make to save some space. So we're going to go for the 100 challenge. Uh, I hope it stacks that high. I don't know if the red notes stack or not. But look how long that takes, guys. It takes insanely long. So I just need to come back here quickly to see if it just does the six or if it stacks. If it stacks, it's going to help us greatly. Okay, I want to make sure there's no other green notes over here because I think... Yep, we have a ton of green notes. Uh, although, like I said, these green notes, you can also do quests with them. So I don't know if I need any of these quests still. Um, SMG we might need, but if I'm not mistaken, even this one has a better quality quest out there. So let's do this. Leon's SMG, we're going to do five of this one for now. We have the axe already crafting that one, that's okay. Machete. I should actually see if I can't get a better quality machete as well. And the nice thing is they do stack. That's awesome. Okay, so for now, the notes and the cards we'll put away. Even the blue ones. Although we need way more space really, really soon. Now, the reason I made all the storages of here, guys, is the fact that we're just going to use this as drop chests. So what I need to do... We're just going to do this. I should actually place it in front of the window as well. We really don't need any of this stuff. All the SMGs, all that stuff we're going to get right now, we're going to just dump freshly in there. And I should probably try... No, this is bulletproof glass. Damn. Okay, that's impressive. So that one over there, and then we just need all 50... Oh, 91. What's this one? Jason's crate. Ooh. What does Jason have for us? I just hope by placing all this stuff over here, it doesn't break. Imagine placing these uh, for these blocks and then by breaking one, the structure integrity is altered. But the structure integrity shouldn't be that weak, especially since we have this pl uh, place on pillars. So I really, really hope that's the case. If not, no, let's just first open this one because I'm kind of curious to see what this one is. But look at this. Left click, there's a little bit left. If we can max that out. Ooh. That's really worth it. See, the quests... Oh, damn. So if I do the veteran quest, the blue quests, and I, I complete those quests, will I get even better boxes than that? Because I just got a silencer. That's going to help tremendously when we're going through places. Okay, and also, let's just see if I don't have anything that can help with the stamina. 42, guys, we got all these skill points from handing all those others in. Okay, now I need damage on the melee. I don't think we can get the mining any higher than it is right now, unfortunately. And I don't think this counts towards the axe, but I'm just going to get it anyways. Let's max all of them out, because if all of these are maxed out, we know we've got everything. So that should also open up the other window for us. Because I'm actually kind of curious to see how do we open up those trees. Three, five, 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 four, four, four. Damn, all my skills are almost maxed. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Ooh, so close. Damn, guys, we are so close. We literally just need this one more over here, dead eye, And we have all the skills. I'm guessing then we'll be able to unlock all of these things over here, hopefully. What is this? Not applicable. So increase your max help. I think doing those other quests as well, by having enough coins and stuff, that's also going to help us being able to um, unlock more quests and stuff. But yeah, guys, I'm going to quickly cut away. I'm going to place all these uh, boxes down, and then I'll see you guys now. Okay, so I accidentally broke a box while power attacking like this. I had to drink two of my Mega Crushes, and I sold my inventory a little bit. And yeah, this is the second stack of boxes over here, so we have so much. I think I'm just going to loot it like this, and then afterwards, we can actually see what I got from it. Because I think it's still going to be impressive. It's not the best of best of loot, because it seems we need to do those quests. Um, so I'm thinking of doing as all those veteran classes. Uh, at least making one of each of those classes and reading them at least. Then we know we have those in the background going. 
Okay, we got a ton of guns, ammo, armor. I think what I'm going to do is when we place the stuff over here, for example, the one at the back over here can be for magnums. This one over here can be for the 10 mil. Um, this one at the bottom can be for armors and stuff. But I need at least one of each thing in there so I can just shift click it. Although this is, this thing especially is going to fill up the fastest. And then this one over here can be for drinks. This one can be for pieces like that. Oh, no, 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 no. Like so. Okay, so now we should get... There's a dog. There's a white dog uh, walking around down there. And when he was howling, that was what made me miss and break the other box accidentally. It's annoying. Damn, we're getting a ton of ammo at least. That's the great part. I just wish there was an automatic 0.44 ammo. Because with all this ammo... Well, there might be. If I could just figure out how to do the weapons workbench, we might actually be able to make ourselves like a properly strong gun. All we have to do is keep doing this now, and we just go and do double click. Double click. Ooh, those, these boxes are not even going to last. At least the, uh, the rest of the armors can go like with the water and uh, the other stuff. Uh, we'll see. It, it's just, uh, there's so much ammo. Look at this. So most of the armor can go with the ammo, and then when the guns get full, they can go with the, uh, the drinks. Just damn, guys. We're not even through the roof. We're through half the roof. But I think I'm going to do... Off camera, after this episode, I'm going to go and I'm going to scrap all the guns. Because, guys, we're going to need... Well, we're going to need the space. Um, and then I'm actually thinking of making that my base over there. This place is just too small. It's fortified, but it's just way too small. If I could take over the roof over there and just place all these boxes on the roof, have, like, spare storage boxes and stuff... And then in my spare time, I can always go and scrap all the guns that I need to scrap. I think that's going to help tremendously. That one's not full yet. I'm actually amazed that one wasn't full just now. With all the drinks and stuff we've already gotten over here. Damn. The armor is full and ammo. Okay, so for now, let's put the rest of the armor with the ammo over here then. I also need to go and make sure that we have the best quality armor. So level 5 iron gloves. Awesome. Except, look at this. Uh, I just want to show you guys this. This one's weaker than a level 3 iron gloves. So you have to go individually. Some of the crappy quality ones might be better quality than what you're wearing. Um, that's what I love about this mod. The, the quality doesn't determine the strength. It can be a really crappy quality, but it has way more strength than a, than a proper quality one. Which means that a guy made it. It wasn't the best of uh, guys, but he was better than the other guy that made it. It makes sense, right? It's almost like real life. You and I don't make the same content, quality content. And also you have to think about mods when you're using this. How many mods can I do? Is it going to be worth it or not? Okay, so this armor is full. This one over here. Damn. Damn. I can't believe it's so full already. Okay, that's a drink. Nope, oh, over here. And the rest of the guns we're also going to have to drop over here now because we just don't have the space. The other two boxes, I have like two spaces left, but that's it. Okay, so what I want to do now, look at this, all this ammo. 2,224.44 ammo. What we need to do is start saving all the cash. We're going to put that away. These are all the bunions. Uh, I wonder if you can do more than one at a time. Because you just need boiled water. So if I get way more boiled waters, this might actually be one for me. We have 84. We need 16 more bo uh, boiled water, then we can do at least two. I want to see if we can't get this a level 5 axe. Then we should be able to left-click, instead of power attack, left-click the boxes when we open them up. But this is definitely not going to be the best base. Uh, guys, we can't use this as a base. It's not going to work. Because it's just not enough space in opening up all these goodie bags. But yeah, if you guys like this episode, please like, share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback? What do you guys think about my luck, about the horde, anything at all? If, uh, oh, also, do you know how to kill the gyrocopter guy easier? Uh, leave your comments down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time of, uh, after I've done some inventory sorting and perhaps even taken over this building. But if we can get more concrete blocks, we might actually be able to make our own, like a massive platform for boxes. But yeah, see you guys next time.